Welcome to a special project recipe. I know it's kind of a crazy weekend to be doing a project recipe in my uh, not regularly scheduled time, or it is my regularly scheduled time, just not my regular scheduled day. And so glad if you can make it on. Hi, Jacqueline and Stacy. Um, so July 4th is on Tuesday when I would normally be with you all. And instead of trying to do it earlier in the day, um, you know, I just figured we'd, I'd catch you on a Sunday. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Yes. Um, if, if you've known me for a while, you know, oh, a head bopper fell off. I love a good head bopper, preferably ones that don't bop right off. Um, and yeah, so I'm in my, <clears throat> my red, white, and blue today, um, for America. So thanks for hopping on. <clears throat> we have a fun project recipe tonight. It's really easy recipe and hopefully all of you RSVP'd so that you can, um, print out the project recipe, whether or not you do it along with me right now, of course, that's up to you, but you will want to um, RSVP for the event so that you get the link to the PDF in by via email. And um, they're great to follow along for digital or paper scrapbooking. And the PDF link isn't a clickable link. You have to copy and paste um, the link to the PDF. So just, um, some uh, a side note about that. Um, so really easy recipe, only two sheets of paper and a punch. That's it. Well, I mean, you need your background pages. So whether they be scrapbook pages or um, other, you know, designer, designer pages, uh, printed pages, you just need, but we're only going to cut two. It's gonna be so fast. Um, so I do want to go through just a couple announcements first. There will be an in the feed drawing tonight. So hang out till the end. And all you have to do to be entered is to comment now. Okay. Yes. And so far things are looking good. Three, three different people have commented and I have three entered. That's good. I always like to check the little bots that do all the entries. So if you haven't said hi yet, make sure you say hi in the comments. <clears throat> all right. And super scrappy June promo. So this was something that I layered on. Creative Memories had so many different promos this month. It was awesome. Um, but my son got married. He went to NCAA nationals for track. He graduated from college. It was like June, May and June. I say it's the summer of Aiden. He did get make it back from the, their their honeymoon. And as many of you know, because they're both runners and they ran together in high school and they ran together in college, what else do runners do? Then they drive to Boulder, Colorado and run at altitude. So they made it back and now they're off to their work, <laughs> work tomorrow. And then they have off for Tuesday. It's a great week to get back to work. Um, all right, so those of you that participated, that ordered, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you ordered 100, 150 or more, some of you ordered multiple times yesterday, July 1st, as promised, I sent you your CM credits. Now they do expire in 30 days. That's the bad news. But the good news is we have a huge launch coming on Wednesday. So you can use your $10 um, CM credits on Wednesday on this new launch, which I'm gonna go through really quick. Now the Bundle Bonanza winner. So those of you, if you maybe placed an order and it wasn't a hundred dollars, then, um, and then every order that was a hundred. So if you placed a hundred dollar order, you got 10 tickets into the Bundle Bonanza. If you placed two $100 orders, you got 20 tickets into the Bundle Bonanza. So anyone that ordered on my CM website got tickets in for the Bundle Bonanza. We're gonna do that next Tuesday since it's kind of an off week and we may not have as many of our scrappy friends watching. So I'll have the, the I'll post the four bundles that the winner will choose from. And um, so that's just the orders May uh, 30th to June 30th. Um, but since I have four bundles, I might do something with the with the, the new launch on this Wednesday. So that one might just be a week long one. So um, 
or, you know, till next one. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Um, so anyway, Bundle Bonanza giveaway will be next week. So I have uh, like many, many tickets to write out um, for next week. So stay tuned for more details on that. Oh, but speaking of, oh, well, I'll go to this one first. So the Backyard Barbecue and Cabin Time Bundle, you get to pick one of those bundles when you spend $65 on the website. And it was supposed to end Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, but they extended it to tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. So I, you know, of course, I order all the time. So, of course, I had to have the paper, but I also um, needed to have the digital. So, you digital peeps, especially ones that, like, host bonfires and, like, have, have hot dogs, I think you want the backyard barbecue bundle. So, what you need to do to earn the digital for free is you just order $30 in digital products, which... I didn't realize my last digital order wasn't since like April and we have the new pet uh, fur baby digital kit that came out and the new totally tonals. <laughs> yeah, Stacy, I'm talking to you. You know it. So um, yeah, and you get them both. You don't even have to pick, but there's hot dogs and bonfires and all kinds of things. Um, okay. So, but here, what I wanted to share real quick was this. So this is what's launching. Yeah. See, see, I, I had slept on that too. So this is the C's please. I know it's really small, but on my Facebook page, which hopefully that's how you found me right now, then you saw larger pictures of all these. And as Creative Memories has done in the past, if you order the whole collection, you're going to save 10%. So uh, $64.50, and that includes the um, paper pack, the laser borders, the mat pack, the stickers, the, the um, designer paper. Listen, I know so, and then it, that doesn't include the album, but you can add on the album, and the album is beautiful, and it's got like a whale tail and glacier. Listen, I know so many of you went to Alaska in the last 18 months, this is your collection. Um, and of course, it's available digital as well. Um, so uh, I didn't go to Alaska in the last 18 months, but I'm hoping to go to Alaska <laughs> in the next couple of years. So I will get this. And hello, Dolphin Border Maker Cartridge. I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like that is going to go so fast. So that's available starting Wednesday. And I love the little detail. It's got the dolphin. It has a little dot. I don't know if you can see it. It's very tiny. And then it has like a little, a cutout, um, just like a, like in the wave. Oh, it's really cute. And of course the punch poop is going to be all these little tiny dolphins, which are going to look so cute on your page. So anyway, enough about the dolphins, but I'm super excited about this border maker cartridge. Um, and then of course, avocado cardstock. I mean, so many, and then totally tonals. Now, all these stickers are exactly the same. They're just in different colors. And then we've got the greens, the oranges, canary. Where was this paper pack when I was doing last month's card kit? Just saying. I really needed that. And then there's two new um, paper album kits, Summertime and Fur Baby. So also look for a fun announcement. Um I've been doing these eight by eight classes. Thank you to the nine of you that came to the little eight by eight class I had last Thursday morning at Westminster by the sea. And, um, we had a great time. I'll post pictures of that later, but, um, I think I'm going to do a fur baby only like a, just like a fur baby album class. Um, and then I think, I think we're going to have a good time. So everybody, whether they, um, have a pet now or a pet that they loved or they're someone they know has a pet they have like a grand dog or you know a grand bunny or whatever um then you can make an album of it so that's gonna be fun so look for detail watch for details on that all right back to this so <laughs> yeah. 
Well, uh, yeah, you should, Lori. I would never tell you to not drive down here. But um, because it would be much more fun to do it with you. But you, that's one of the new products that's launching on Wednesday. So you can get one and, and you know, do it uh, do it in Maryland if you can't drive down. All right. So secret box opening. Um, and so $70. Uh, this, if you like uh, lighthouses or if you live in Volusia County and or you live in view of the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse or St. Augustine Lighthouse or if you've been to St. Simon's, you're going to love um, what's included in this box. And we will have a secret box opening at the base of the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse on July 14th at 6 p.m. And then we will go to Hidden Treasure Tiki Bar Grill um, right across the street from the lighthouse. It's very, you know, slow paced down there, low key. It's not busy, easy parking. Um, so anyway, I hope you'll join us. I realized I didn't make a Facebook event for this. It's just on my website, but I will add it to Facebook as well. Um, and so I hope you'll join us and you don't have to purchase a secret box to come to this. You can watch us open our secret boxes and then you can just hang out with us. It's kind of just like a fun summer get together with your scrappy sisters without, you know, unloading a wagon of stuff because we just enjoy each other's company even when we're not scrapbooking. So um, hope you'll join us. And if you missed out on the secret box, I have three left. I ordered extra. I have three left. Let me know and I will set one aside for you if you can't attend the secret box opening or you can pick it up there or I'll ship it to you. Virtual crop is that same weekend, busy weekend, weekend after next. Um, hopefully you will participate in the virtual crop. You'll have a chance to win CM credits from me. And then scrappy happy hours. So this is Sunday, July 16th at Persimmon Hollow Brewing Company. And when you register for that, you'll pick your card kit of choice from Creative Memories. And I will show you how to quickly and um, with lots of, um, I don't know, as funly isn't a word. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? We're going to have so much fun putting together these card kits. That's what we're going to do. And they have food there. And of course it's a brewery. So there's beer there and it's summer. So why not? All right. Techie Tuesday this month, July 18th. It's at 7 PM because DAR is on break for the summer. Sizzling Summer Crop has a wait list and Scrapapalooza still has spot for you. Ah, oh, Jen, you're going out of town again? No, no bueno. Um, Scrapapalooza still has spot. So if you missed out on the Sizzling Summer Crop, I'm happy to put you on the wait list. Um, but if you want to make sure you have a spot for August, hop on my website and register for that. And of course, many thanks to those of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And then for those of you that came in late or maybe it's your first time here or you just forgot, there is an in the feed drawing tonight. So you do need to like the video and just comment, say, hey. Um, oh, my goodness, Deb. Oh, stay safe. Deb has a tornado warning in Pennsylvania. Ah, oh, there's the severe weather following you everywhere. Well, um, be safe, uh, Deb. Glad that you were able to hop on. So just make sure you comment and you will be entered to win. Let me check and see how my bot is doing. Seems like bot is doing good, keeping everyone entered. Whew, made it through all those announcements. And now it's time to get down to business and make this scrapbook page. I hope you all... Um, have fun uh, on this, had the fun this weekend and have a great July 4th, even if it just means putting on some head bobbers and putting a flag in the yard and staying in the AC. Um, <clears throat> all right, let me, I need to switch cameras here. I know, Susan, isn't it fun? I know, it feels like we've had a, um, they're not, I don't want to say a dry spell, but it's been a, you know, because my schedule has been so nutty. Um, I feel like um, I miss you all. 
Okay, so project recipe, like I said, I was, I, you notice on my website and on Facebook, I just published this. It's not that I don't like Harry Potter, though I haven't read the books. Oh my gosh, don't judge. It's on my bucket list. I would like to read all the books. I know they're wildly popular and so much fun, but, um, I, so, but you know, not everyone, um, I, sometimes I worry. That's why I never do the project recipe. Not never. I have a couple times in the paper that's used because I don't want people to be like, Oh, I don't want to make that. I I'm not into that. So that's why I just posted this bottom part. And of course, showing it with the fireworks and this would be a great page for Disney or Universal or 4th of July, a great layout, especially if you um, were lucky enough to get the fireworks punch. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Now I'm back. I, I think last time I did a, a page of Aiden and Emma Jane for their um, engagement, but I'm back to, um, I'm back to retreat photos. And in this case, it was a cruise. And some of you maybe that are on, um, well, Lori was there. Um, I, I don't think, I don't know if Linda's on this, but, um, on Facebook live right now, but, um, you'll remember that my grandma's first cousin. So my cousin Ellen went parasailing so this was like an epic, um, an epic scrapbook cruise. Uh, and Linda went up with Ellen and I just love this picture. This is one of the guys that worked on the parasail. Um, and this is such a cute picture. It just shows, how, how, you know, all of this scrappy, scrappy lady. So this is everybody on board taking, and I didn't take this picture, um, I don't know who took this picture, actually. Maybe Trish. Um, and it was of all the scrapbookers taking picture of Ellen. Like, you know, she was like a little dot out at sea. But I was I was out on the island when Ellen went up. And it was a great time. And then this was the scrapbook room. And that's all of us together. So that's what I'm working on tonight. Such a great memory. And... Ellen was, of course, at Aiden's wedding, and I don't know if I mentioned last week, but I think I mentioned another time. So Ellen is the, was the only person at the wedding that knew Aiden and EJ both um, before they knew each other, because Emma Jane went to Ellen's church in New Smyrna as a little girl, and Ellen would always work VBS, and so she knew um, Emma Jane and Emma Jane would sing and play musical instruments at church. And so Ellen knew Emma Jane. And of course, Aiden, she knew uh, Aiden because she's related to him. So that was super fun. Um, so anyway, and it's, of course, sad. Those of you that have been on the cruises or just know Thelma and Ellen from years, Thelma is no longer with us. And so... Um, so anyway, this is little, some special pictures here. I know, Lori, isn't it so fun that we've got one to look forward to? I'm super excited. My camera is doing that thing again where it like is brighter and then it's darker. And I don't know what's going on with that. All right. So this was really hard um, to pick pictures for um, because... Um, because I have one, one page that's all these bright Caribbean colors because I really wanted to do a whole page of Ellen's parasail. And then I have another page of just um, like it's indoor, kind of darker, the wood paneling and stuff on the cruise ship. So kind of threw me for a loop. I decided to use Tropic Time, which I don't know. I kind of I like Tropic Time. It's It's definitely uh, one I go back to. Now I decided to use... Um, these for my base papers, it's like baby blue and a light yellow. Um, and then for these pages, I, I do like the reverse of this one. It's got some teal with white dots. This one I think is going to be too dark 
the reverse. So where it calls for the reverse, which is I think that just these two squares, I'm just going to use the regular. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's going to go more. Except for, I think I'm going to use the dark side for my punches, which I didn't say. The punch I chose is this Monstera punch, uh, which I believe is still available. You know how I really hate to um, use things that aren't available anymore. Um, so I'm going to use the reverse of the paper for that. So that's my plan. And again, I love this project recipe. All you need for this project recipe is tape, 12 inch trimmer, regular trimmer, and a punch. That's it. I mean, and then of course you're going to need a pen to journal and um, all that good stuff. So it's going to be a very straightforward. All right. So let's look at our cuts here. So this designer paper one, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> it's going to be this one. So I need a one and a half, a one, a one and a half, a one. Okay. And then four and a half by four and a half. That's so, so, so nice. So easy. All right. So first sheet. And I always like to make sure that there's no orientation that I need to, to go to. Now with this trimmer, what's nice is if it's like less than uh, two inches, you can go this way on the short side, which I like because I just feel like I have better control than all this paper hanging out over here and trying to go this way. So that's just my preference. So the first one is at one and a half. I'm gonna go there. And then a one. I'm gonna do it in the order that they say, even though if I were just doing this myself, I would go one and a half, one and a half, one, one. But you know, whenever possible, I like to do follow the directions. One and a half and one. And then I'm going to go four and a half. Now that way I can do this way. Four and a half. And four and a half. <clears throat> Sorry again for coughing in your ear. Now four and a half is going to leave me with a very wide mat. And I usually like a thin mat. I'm going with it because that's the directions. But um, just know that <laughs> that's just my preference. So if that is your preference as well, then you may want to pivot and uh, cut off a little quarter inch and go four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So now this is showing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is interesting. Where are these little... Okay, well, they added in some stars. Normally, I like to go odd. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so they're, they have an odd number. So I'm going to go. I'm holding. I want to punch uh, with this side up because that's the way I'm going to use it. Because sometimes, you know, when a paper goes through, especially where there's embossing, then you get like the deboss. And so that's why I went ahead since I knew I was going to be um, doing the reverse. Now, why did I just switch that around? Because that way I can get the most out of my paper and I might be able to get a couple. Now with these ones that have the embossing in them, it's just, it's still just one punch, but you um you just like at the end kind of i like to press down um because that's where the embossing comes is at the end i don't want to say the follow through but it's kind of like the follow through and there's like little flowers um that have the embossing a lot of our punches the bow a lot of our punches have by our i mean creative memories have some embossing going on. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me make sure I got the. Now I really only need one more because I'm going to stay with the 
of an odd number. If I had punched them a little closer, I might have been able to get two more out of them, but that's okay. So I'm going to put those up there. Got all kinds of punch poop everywhere. <clears throat> all right. And then this last one, super easy cuts too. So four by six, four by six, four by five and a half, four by five and a half, and then a three by 12. And where these little lines are means they're going to be left over. So it doesn't make a difference which way I hold this paper. So I'm going to start with the four. Four by six. Now, I love that this trimmer is, ends at five and a half for card making, but for scrapbooking, it would be helpful if it went to six. <laughs> but other than that, this trimmer is like Mary Poppins. It's practically perfect in every way. I love it. Okay, so four by six, four by six. Now, the next ones are nice. Four by five and a half. I don't even have to swing out the what you do. <clears throat> or the who's the watch it. Or whatever you call it. All right. So now I can just come out here to the end that you can't see. There we go. And there. So that's our scrap. And then we just need a three by 12. And. That is it. Now we are ready to rock and roll. Everything is cut. All right. So I'm going to keep my trimmer handy just in case. I've got my personal trimmer over here for my photos. It's really the best, best trimmer ever if, when you're talking about photos and smaller, smaller pieces of paper. All right. So since I've got this big piece here, let's just start... That's over there. I've got a lot going on. You should have seen earlier today, the space I was working in was about four by six. And it's not that I didn't have a whole, you know, five foot table to work on because I did. I just, I just find myself hedging myself in. Okay. So now I can add these leaves on top of here. They don't get lost all the way. If I, if I, if I plan them strategically, all right, so those are going to go on there. Okay, I guess I need another one. I love these leaves, too. I mean, I know it's because I live in Florida, and they're all over my yard and whatnot, and maybe I'm partial to them. But, okay, so now we need these thicker ones on the top and the thinner ones on the bottom. Again, I'm going with this way. Now... If it wasn't for Project Recipe, I would not put some of these combinations together. That's why I like the Project Recipes, because it's kind of like a little game. I really, like, I can't even tell the time number of times that it hasn't worked out perfectly. At first, like, sometimes, like right now, I'm like, oh, did I make a, a wrong choice? <laughs> this seems like a lot going on, but I know once these pictures get on here, it's going to be great. And I actually may change my mind. You know, I had like the, I had it like this. I don't know. Maybe these ones would look better on the blue and these ones on the, I think I'm going to switch it. Um, just cause I feel like the yellow helps these kind of pop off instead of blend in. Hopefully you agree. Hold please why I pivot because I'm not going to switch the pages like left and right. I'm just flipping the, the bottoms. And so now I need to switch this over to here. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So let's do this one first. Let me put this kind of front and center so that you all can see what's going on here. All right. And this goes right against the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> Sorry. Yes, I was humming. This song stuck in my head. All right, so now back to my recipe. Now, what I liked about this recipe too is I already said that I'm gonna not use the back, although I really could because the, um, you know, it's, it's gonna pull, I'll try it both ways. Why not? <clears throat> And this one, I could really go either, either or. I think these are both. So I'm gonna try both ways once I put the pictures on here and see how they look. All right, so one of these guys is coming here. One of these over here. Now, I can't lose that much of this. I need to, I need to switch. <laughs> I can do that, right? Oh, it's supposed to be the same, the four by six over here, but I, that like, there is no room. I already have to trim off some of this picture and there is just no room to give. So, you know what? I will end up with a thin mat because I'm not, I'm going to have to, and this one, we're gonna lose some people on this one. I you hate that. All right, this will be a square. And I think that's okay, because you're gonna cover up the leaves and that dark is gonna tie in there. So let's do it. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going, I'm gonna take this off the feet and then I'm gonna have to go half from this side. Oh boy. I don't want to lose just Corley's little arm. It's a very thin mat. I think, I mean, I can, this has some white dots and whatever. Yeah. I don't think it really matters. Now this one, I wish I could, you know what? I can add a, I can add, um, I can cut off most of this roof and that can be where my journal box goes. But I do have to trim off. We're gonna lose, we're gonna lose some people. I still have to lose more. Debbie doesn't need her hair. Okay. Now, these sillies. All right. So, I think I like that and then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a little more off of the ceiling here so that I have a, a nice solid piece I must have a spare piece of white cardstock right around here somewhere I got I usually have white card stack stock everywhere all right I feel like we're getting into the modern era almost with um, with these um, with my retreat pictures. I should have looked at what this. Oh no, that's dark. Never mind. Probably could have squeezed on another um, 
I've got enough room that I can oops, add a piece of white cardstock in a couple places for title and um, and of course I have room right here for journal box and let's see. I might need to do a little white chunk there too. So here I said, all you need is your bases and two sheets of paper, but now I need to go hop up and get some white cardstock. All right, but now I can stick this down. How are we doing on time? I think we're doing okay. I know some of you have chimed in and you're traveling, but I would love to hear in the chat what y'all are planning to do for the fourth. Or maybe you have to work. Are you doing the beach? We went to the beach early this morning. Brendan went to surf and I walked and it was warm, but we, we kind of made it before the crowd. We left here at 7. So we got there at like 7.30. And high tide was like at 8. So most people, you know, they couldn't drive on. And we, we didn't drive on either. But I think a lot of people weren't there. Oh, well, you know what? Doing nothing is also... A great, I, 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 Brendan did a, a, something at the house here that no lie, if, like I've been waiting for 23 years for him to do. So it was kind of a big deal, but we are always just on the go, go, go. Sometimes it's nice to just be still. And so hopefully you will have some much needed relaxation time. Jacqueline. And all of you, whether you have plans or not, hopefully you'll not go into Wednesday feeling exhausted. <laughs> Um, let's see. And then these are just kind of the reverse. They do. So since I chose the different sizes. Let's see. Love these pictures. These are so great. Now this is the four by six one. That's good. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, 58. Well, yes, it's winter for you. <laughs> so not, no, uh, but welcome, Deborah. So glad for that you popped on. And you stay you stay warm. I mean it's not you're it's not snowing, <laughs> but still I know when it's fifty eight in Daytona, that's cold. Alrighty, I love this picture. They both have the sweetest looks on their face. I just, it's definitely one of my faves of all time. And I guess Linda took it or somebody else on the boat because I wasn't there. I can't take credit, but it is a wonderful, wonderful picture. And I think I've mentioned in the past 
when we've talked about this. Have I already scrapbooked this? <laughs> I feel like I've chatted about it. But um, everybody on the bus on the way back to our car recognized Ellen. Maybe I just talked about it last week that I was going to do this page. <laughs> like, I just feel like I talked about this. Alrighty, and I will, I'm going to put this picture on here. This is going to be a four by four. Oh, I love this too. Ellen lost her shoe, but it didn't go in the ocean. Um, she just uh, lost it <laughs> in the boat. Now I want to somehow get, let me move this one up. Because I want to get the picture of everybody on the cruise ship taking pictures of Ellen. And I'm going to make this mat smaller. I know there's other ones on this page that are a little bigger. But this, page, this side is going to be a little tight. Alright. And then... I think I can get on. This picture here. I think I have enough that I can cut off. Let's see, I'm going to lose a little bit of barbs, but I don't think she'll mind. I don't like when space like this gets trapped in the middle. So I'm going to lose a little bit more Barb's butt. I don't want to lose Lucille's lens there. I think, I think that'll do it. I can probably move over everything just a touch. I could also put something inside there, but I think I'm just gonna move this over just a smidge, just a smidge. When you have those dead spaces in the middle, not dead spaces, but those little holes, then your eye is drawn to those spaces. Pretty soon. Now the person next to Barb lost some of their butt. Okay. And I need to cut out one more of these so that I get three going on there. Oops. And I need to jump up and grab a piece of white cardstock. Just one. Just what I need. Oh, excuse my chair. All right. So, if you haven't seen this before, when I've showed it, this is one of the um, folders from Creative Memories. It's got two long pockets on the back. It's got three pockets on the front, and then it's got a pocket down the middle that'll hold big things. And this is. This is where I keep my scraps. 
So when I just need some white paper for something like this, then I just go right into my little white scrap. And then, oh, this is like a card. I don't, I, I don't save small chunks anymore, but I do save large chunks because you just never know when you're going to need. <laughs> and as you can see, I have, you know, you have lots of shades of reds and I mean, you, there's different shades of whites too, but I've got a whole, as you can see, a whole thing of just for this purpose. The key is to remember that you have it, right? Sometimes a full sheet of paper, any color, <laughs> is, is more readily available than, um, oh, that one just needs a slight haircut. It was kind of perfect, almost perfect. can add that there add this here that is I mean just like I've got 400 multi-purpose tools which would be great for scoring that before I cut it but my finger is like right attached to my hand And a little bit off the side. Now I've got a spot for title journal. And this I've got a whole story to write about this as far as Ellen goes. The fact that they said she was the oldest person to ever to ever do it on Royal Caribbean. Oh, someone maybe helped me out. I can't remember what year this was. 2005. 16 and I mean she, I'm pretty sure she was over 90 and she's going to be 97 in September um, I guess I need all this all the spaces for writing I'll add some more stickers over here I'll have to see. I can I can wait and decide if I need more. All right. So this was Scrapbook Cruise. And Project Recipe. So this is the Enchanted Wizard Project Recipe. And that page those two pages are done. I mean, they're not done, done, but you know, there's done and then there's done, done. And so it's done, but not done, done. I'll go back and add uh, the who, what, and where's, and then the story behind the photos. And this is such a great example of scrappy friend love right there. So if you haven't um, commented, make sure you do that. I'm going to take down, whoops. I'm going to take down this camera. Switch. Here I am. Over here and We've got our drawing. We're ready to rock and roll. So um, thank you all for being on here on this uh, 
uh, special event. <laughs> We're going to do our drawing for the CM credits, which are going to come handy on um, for whoever wins it on uh, the 5th on Wednesday when all those new items go live at Creative Memories. Uh, the dolphin border maker punch and our border maker cartridge for the border maker system and the new um, C. What's it called? C. Um, C's please. <laughs> the C's C's please. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you, Deb, for being on. So let's see who our lucky winner is. Let me share the right page here. And we can do our drawing. And then this person, you don't have to use it on Wednesday, but it will um, expire 30 days from tonight. Jen, are you on still? Jen, give her a second to reply. And if we don't hear from her, yay! Congratulations, Jen. So um, happy 4th of July to you and happy 5th of July when you get to place your order on Wednesday. Um, so congratulations. Thanks everyone for being on. Don't forget you can order on Wednesday the 5th, all the new stuff at 1 PM. And don't forget if you place an order on my website, May 30th to June 30th for over a hundred dollars, you got CM credits from me yesterday, July 1st, as promised. So make sure you check your CM account. Um, and if you have any questions, you can let me know. But um, that is all for tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did the page along with me or if you do it sometime this week or maybe on the 4th, I would love to see your page. Post a picture in the comments below so we can all see your awesome page. Thank you all for being on. Until I see you again, hopefully very soon. Stay scrappy, my friends. Happy 4th of July. Bye-bye.